You'll know our next guest from just about everything you've yeah. seen on screen in recent years. <laughs> Dylan McDermott has played in dozens of roles in movies and TV shows like Hollywood, The Practice, one of my favorites, Love Still Magnolias, yes. and American Horror Story, just to name a few. Now he's starring in FBI Most Wanted as we Supervisory Special Agent Remy Scott, right here on CBS. He leads a fugitive task force tracking down notorious criminals. In tonight's episode, Agent Scott and the team, they search for a murderer mimicking the crimes of a notorious 80s mob. Take a look. Oh, it's all there. Yeah, I remember. Jackie the Fox Bianchi. Yeah, right. Wow, you remember the 80s. You don't? I wasn't even born Do not yet. finish that sentence. Jackie the Fox was suspected of multiple mob hits and even spent time in the most wanted list. How'd he get off it? He died. I think he blew up in a boat or something. Right, Mr. Old School. First on CBS Mornings, Dylan McDermott joins us. How you doing? Good morning. Good. Good so morning. great to be here. So glad to have you. Thanks Listen, we, we want to start by saying congratulations. The show uh, picked up for two more seasons. Two more. Usually you get the one more yeah, season. Two but two? This, so, by the way, this never happened. So, so what was your reaction when you heard the news? I was blown away. Were I you sitting uh, by the phone? Um, the of course, yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, because this, this time of year is always a little anxious because you, you never know if the show's going to be picked up or was that it. But when it comes down to a <coughs> two-year pickup, right. that's huge. Stability. Stability, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And that just shows how well the show is doing. Right. Yes, absolutely. And how good you are in the show. <laughs> Thank just, you, Gail. Just saying. So Thank you. what was it like stepping into a lead role in a show that's already been around for two seasons, and now will be two more? But that must have been a tricky scenario, no? You know, it was interesting because I was on Organized Crime, mm -hmm. which is also a Dick Wolf show. And um, I was on for two seasons. Um, so when I got the call that he wanted me to come on, it was sort of a natural transition because he was already the executive producer. So they knew my style of work. They knew what I was going to bring. So it, it seemed like it was rather seamless to come on to another show. But this time they play a good guy. You just wrapped that show and then... What, so what did Dick Wolf say to convince you? Uh, uh, he asked. <laughs> and, and when he asks, you do it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no so doubt. So speaking of your style and what you bring to the role, you, you say you always bring something <clears throat> real from yourself, from your actual person into that's right. the job, into the role. Yeah. Uh, care to share what that was this time? You know, I was able to create the character from the ground up, which is amazing. And um, I talked to Dick and uh, David Hudgens, the, the showrunner, about how to, how to keep myself rooted in this character. And I wanted him to have loss in his life. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, I had loss in my life early on, and I thought it was great to use that for this character because it would fuel me and anchor me in this role for years to come. Mm -hmm. And that's proven to be true already. I can always refer and go back to that anytime uh, when I'm playing Remy Scott. So um, I try to use pieces of my life whenever I can because I just think it adds that extra element mm. that's never, I, that I, you know, I sometimes see on TV or you not, not see. That authenticity. That you always pull, pull from. from. Exactly. What was the yeah. loss in your life early on? Oh, I lost my mom early on. Early on. Yes. I do remember. So I think story. that, yes. you know, in, in the show, I lost my brother. But I, I do think that loss sometimes do, does fuel people mm. um, to carry on. Mm. You know, it, it was also reported that you didn't want to meet your castmates until the first day of filming. Mm -hmm. What was your strategy there? Normally, people have a get to, getting to know you right. dinner. Yes. You, you didn't. You decided I'm going to wait till the first day. Yeah, I what really you, wanted my thinking? first. Yeah, my first day of filming. I I really wanted to be what it's like to meet people like like today. Yeah. Right. You know, there's there's always like, hey, I'm just getting to know you. And yeah. You know, you're not sure. It's a little awkward. I wanted all that in the scene, and uh, that proved to be true. We didn't feel awkward meeting you. <laughs> well, we met before. Again. Yes, we, we, it was not awkward at all. You came, come bring in those baby blues. Thank you. There's a great line in the in the first show. It says, where you're wooing someone. I won't say who. You said, I don't do practical. I do impulsive because life is more fun that way. Mm -hmm. And I thought about that line. I thought, am I practical or impulsive? Mm. Are you practical or impulsive? I think I'm a little bit of life. both. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's a lot easier to be impulsive on TV. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. In real life. Because you, you know how it's going to turn out. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of uh, being a little bit of both, um, you have played villains. Mm -hmm. You have played complicated characters, if you mm -hmm. will. Um, you you've know, also villains. played good guys. Yep. Um, so what is more fun? What do you like to dive in more when it comes to a character? Mm. I mean, I love doing the character work. You know, as, I, as I've gotten older, um, I just really enjoy 
creating a character um, like I did in Hollywood, you know, that guy was so interesting to and me. And layered. And to do the research and to meet people and, yeah. and to find out, you know, what they eat and how they dress and how they walk. And why they do those yeah, things. Yeah, all, all that stuff, the psychology mm. of the character. It's like, Dylan, you do homework. I like what Nate said in the beginning mm. about the practice, because I love the practice. Oh my you were God. Bobby and I love that show. <laughs> oh, you know, a lot of people ever. talk about reboot this, reboot that. Yeah. Is that something you would even consider or are interested in doing? I found one of my... Yeah, I mean, never say never. You just yeah. don't know. Um, right now, my home is FBI Most Wanted, and I'll be there for a while. After that, just don't know. It's such a political answer. It's like, right now, my, I'm, my mind is on governing the state of Pennsylvania. And I'll, I'll think about the election when it comes. It's like the practice birthed the whole bunch of shows it just did. like it. Yeah. It did. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Well, listen, we appreciate you. Dylan McDermott, you're one of the best in the Thank business. Thank you. Thank you for coming I'd love by. I to see the practice reboot. Although hey. I do love FBI Most Wanted. You're right about that. Good. And speaking of Talk that, about political. you can watch <laughs> FBI Most Wanted right here on right. CBS tonight at 10, 9 Central.